Just a beautiful night in Hamilton for Canada's biggest game. 109 previous Grey Cups. Winnipeg teams have been to 30, Montreal 20. But this is the first time they've ever faced each other. The Blue Bombers are back in this game for a fourth straight time with memories of winning it here in Hamilton just two years ago. The Alouettes have waited 13 years, but they have the memory of dominating a 16-2 favorite just last week. Welcome to Grey Cup 110. was the rookie of the year that? in 2022. Back to Oliveira. Cuts it back to the right. Finds some room. Brady Oliveira keeps going. Running well, just like last week against the Lions in the Western Final. 14 more yards as he gets a first down. It's the sweep. The Nick Dembski gets tripped up. Sean Lemon made contact with Dembski as he gets taken down right around the line of scrimmage. Looking to keep the perfection going now as it's put down by Jamison Sheehan. And right through, perfect it is for the first points on the board. What is that? Second and eight. Deep open, Kenny Lawler. First catch of Grey Cup 110 and another big first down for Winnipeg. Under pressure and taken down. Sean Lemon gets the sack. His third Grey Cup sack. His first was nine years ago when he took down Zach Caleros. This Alouette hey, defense is certainly that? bending. Try not to break. Here we go. Caleros with lots of time with only a three man rush and looks to be taking off. Flying all the time he can. He finally does move and pick up a couple back to the original line of scrimmage, but a flag comes out. If it's a runner, you can't come across with the forearm to the head. Very close on Mustafa Johnson, but gives the Bombers a new set of downs. Trying to find the end zone now in a first and goal. Oliveira, three, two, one, touchdown! The CFL's leading rusher has the first touchdown of this Grey Cup. Straight up at the Alouette 47, Fajardo. Little pump fake. Looking deep over the middle. It is caught. Oh, what a brilliant catch by the rookie Austin Mack out of Ohio State. Big first down Alouettes in Winnipeg territory. I said rookie, technically first year CFL player, Austin Mack. What an impression he's made. Here's the carry by Williams. Stand back. Breaking loose. 10 5. Wait for the signal. It is a Montreal touchdown. Oh, what an answer back by that Alouette offense. After automatic review by the command center, the ruling on the field stands. It's a touchdown. What Best is that? hunting leader in the CFL this year. Up near the 50 for Columbus. Oh, they've got heat on him again. They have him taken down. It's a great cup sack for Mustafa Johnson. And that victory over Toronto, second and 17 on that loss from the Winnipeg 41, Polaris. They set only three again, so he has time. Rolling to the right, down it goes, into coverage, it's caught. Oh, what a big catch by Kenny Lawler with a couple of Alouettes nearby. He gives him a chance, and he comes up with it. Eight of 42, back to the ground, and Brady Oliveira left side, pulled open. Ball comes out, Alouettes have it, waiting for the signal. First and 10, Alouettes down a field goal at their 45. Taking to stand back again, Willie Jefferson has tracked down Cody Vajardo. And Jefferson, Grey Cup veteran, has another Grey Cup sack. Second straight two and out of Winnipeg. Jamison Sheehan with the punt. Low end over end for James Letcher. And he'll pick it off the hop. And he loses the ball, Mike Benson. The long snapper comes in alertly and falls on it. So this time the Alouettes turn it over. And the Bombers are in business right around the Alouette 30. Give it a shot, but there wasn't enough there. All right, here we go inside the 30. Faking to Nick Dembski. Looking deep. End zone! Just knocked away. And a good defensive play for the Alouettes. KB on Ento, the field corner in coverage. Not expected to play today. Another catch for him. And on the ground, Randy Oliveira. Down inside the five. It'll be first and goal for the Blue Bombers. And what a first half Oliveira's having. In this situation, last year he had two touchdowns. Trying for yes. another here. He gets it. Dakota Pruka finds 
the end zone again in a Grey Cup game as the Blue Bombers add to their lead. And that turnover, very costly for Montreal. With a great first impression. Fifth in the CFL in receiving yards. Here's the German now on first down. Throwing again inside the 40. It is caught. And Tyler Steed takes a pop, but he hangs on. We'll see, second and nine. Lots of time, good protection. Wide open, caught. Oh, what a play by Steed to bounce off the tackle and set up a first and goal for the Alouettes. Third and goal. Alouettes down 10. Looking for a touchdown or bust here. From the Winnipeg one, Caleb Evans. Left side again. They say no. No signal. No signal. And it looks like a turnover on downs. After review by the command center, the ruling on the field stands. First down, Winnipeg. So the Alouettes got close. But there's another turn and a turnover committed by Montreal. They had it most of the way and scored in their first two drives. Give Montreal credit, though. They've shown offensively they are able to move the football. Tyson Philpot, not this time. Austin Mack takes it home. Yellow at 22. Faking to Oliveira. Off to the right, and that one is caught inside the 15, and a flag has come out. From the 11, first down. He's playing the drive, Oliveira. Driving to the 5, and inside it before he's taken down by Stubblefield. Second and 2 with the Alouette 4. Prukop is in again. Right side, touchdown! 
his second touchdown of this game to go along with the two he scored in short yardage last year. And he has one touchdown in this great cup from the Alouette 35. Williams down has five, has ten, has about 12, 13 more yards as he is slow to get up. Second down and eight. Winnipeg at their 49. Pressure coming. Galaris can't get away. They've got him. They get the sack. Uguak is in there. Sankey as well. Their fourth sack of this game. Here we go. This could be it. Third and five. A deep look. Down the left. It's caught by Cole Speaker. Big first down inside the 20. The drive continues, and they are at the very least in position to tie this game. Alouettes, they're inside the Winnipeg 20. Down by three. Time running out. Montreal ahead in the Grey Cup with 11 seconds to go. That's the goal. What is it? Polaris again. It is caught. And they try to kick it into the end zone. And it doesn't make it there. The Montreal Alouettes had to beat the best regular season team in the East. They did. They had to beat the best in the West. They did. And now they are flying above for the first time in 13 years, the Owls are the 2023 Grey Cup champions. Yeah! Looking right now, we'll get them.